<laughs> hello. Hello, hello, hello. All right. More light. Oh. Very windy outside. All right. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Hope you guys had fantastic days. All right, so today I want to talk more about the, the upcoming update in about two weeks. Um, we talked about it briefly, but if you are watching the if you are watching the the replay, ooh, look at that! Stay for a while because we're, we're going to talk about some of the things that you may want to know about the update. But more specifically, um, pertaining to uh, uh, pertaining to the daily production bonus. Daily ah, that's right. Can't watch items. Okay. Daily production bonus that is coming to Albion on Monday. Very exciting stuff, believe it or not. Um, I uh, will also talk about some of the changes that I made with. Um, with the calculator of course I made it more robust made it more um, more accurate I think that's a that's a term that I'm looking for and that is obviously thanks to Vincent and Dr. Paps those uh, two guys helped me realize that there was a little there was a minor error on uh, the calculator Just a little bit. We'll talk about that after um, after selling. All right. So the Carolyn market, uh, the daily production bonus. I mean, is um. It's interesting because of two things. One is the daily aspect of it, meaning it will change daily. And um, the second thing is the randomness of it all. I'm pretty sure it, it is not totally random. It is scheduled in a way that won't really break the market. But for us, simple folks, it may look It may look random so it is very interesting because it's daily meaning it will change every day and it is random so we don't actually know what is going to fluctuate the next day what is going to um, happen two days from now we don't actually have anything to prepare for it's going to be interesting. The first few hours is definitely, um, definitely going to be eventful to say the least. Make sure to visit birdsoultv.com to know more. Know more about your profits. And I've made it so that Okay. There's an ad right away. All right. They're selling me blanks now in real life. Okay, so the main change. Uh, dang it. Created 
All right. Let's go to the gear. Actually, you know, I've uh, made it all available on um, every calculator except for the butcher calculator. So there is now, okay, someone's using this. There, there is now a buy order or sell order column over here that I announced on my Discord channel. So basically what this does is if you buy order this specific item, by the way, Russia Ball, Swarub, uh, welcome to the stream. Um, if you buy order this specific item right here, you can just click on yes over here. And it will change the calculation because it will add 1.5% um, more to this uh, specific uh, specific price, right? If you click buy order in this one as well, that means this is the buy order price that you placed on the on the market. And if you place it, if you are going to place it for sell orders, obviously click yes over here. And if this is uh, you're just going to directly sell it to the marketplace, click no, and it will automatically change it as well. So this is going to make it more accurate. I was thinking of adding like a premium button over here. Like if you have a premium, if you have premium, obviously the sell order tax is going to be different, but I feel like it's going to be really, really um, messy. It may look messy. So I'll definitely think about um, how to <clears throat> incorporate that. Three percent is not really a lot, but it's still um, it's still part of the calculation. It should still be a part of that calculation. Rubble. Um. It was okay. A little bit busy, actually. So I mean, thanks for asking. But how's your day, bud? Mine was a little too busy for me. But, you know, got it done. Got it done. That's all that matters. Alright, let's just, um, I've sold a lot today. So let's just sure the investment is okay again obviously as always um okay Russia Ball says what does it affect it affects um Everything except for the butcher calculator and our table um, calculator right here. So it affects everything food, potion, single RRC, and gear. Except for this one. This one, believe it or not, is very difficult to edit. This, the, the language or the format that I used for this specific um, table was very. It was, it's not portable. It's not really something that I can edit on the fly without potentially breaking the thing. That's why I actually made the single RRC. <clears throat> but this is still accurate. Um, this is still accurate. This actually, the purpose of all of this is not actually to give you like the exact percentage profit now it's to show you what it is needed to uh to be refined today that is the main purpose of this calculator it shows you what is the best resource to refine for today so hopefully that is clear again to everyone welcome 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 have you guys watched yesterday's video Trying a new format on that one. I'm trying a new format for for that video. Uh, we tried to learn more about how YouTube works 
and um, as you can see with uh, with the thumbnails as well hopefully you guys um, noticed that if you look back to my other videos as well I changed some of the thumbnails to reflect um, what I have learned so far I think it's very interesting to learn about like how YouTube works how thumbnails work how um, like retention and all of that very interesting stuff if you guys are looking for something to potentially learn very interesting actually What is expected? Um, record ball? Let's call you RB from now on. I have a habit of, um, you know, taking the first two letters. Or the capital letters. Alright, we need a lot of leather. No way. We actually don't have leathers anymore. Yeah, we don't have leather. Okay, so going back, let's uh, let's talk more about the resource resource return rate and how it will affect the market. Um, again, what I would suggest is to use these calculators right here, especially the newer ones. The port the potion calculator, I feel like, is not really being used, except for this guy. Like, I know in co other countries they use comma for the decimal point but gotta follow instructions really gotta follow instructions all right we'll tell these i actually just want to sell i'm not even i'm not even trying to take advantage of uh, the price spikes anymore I just want to sell. I just want to follow the trend. I don't want to affect the trend. I just want to follow the trend. That makes sense. Because these are all sure profits. If you're selling to Carillion, if you're finding it yourself, these are sure profits. Uh, sometimes, obviously, you know, it is lower. But there's still short sure profits the bars are definitely going to be interesting moving forward because look at Thetford Thetford the owners have agreed I believe they have their own tactics right they have their own tactics with like 1% or 1 usage fee but when you go there it's not really 1 you can't really use that 1 so uh yeah Oh, there you go, 145. They're, they're trying to bait you to go to their uh, plots and be like, oh yeah, I, I probably need this. But yeah, bars are really high right now. The usage fee for bars. And I am going to do a little bit of um, calculations later because I realized that it, for some players percentage profit doesn't really doesn't really matter much for them what matters more is how much they are going to get out of the method like silver wise don't have tier 4 bar that's tier 5 bar don't have tier 4 bars to sell. Rip, bro. I believe I don't have tier 4, tier 5 blocks as well. Tier 4 blocks as well. So this was kind of expected. We all knew. Oh, okay. Yeah. The list was kind of. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Transport Mammoth. And I also said in that video, like, it shouldn't come as a surprise, right? 
really should come as a surprise that that the transport mammoth is the number one transport mount on the list. I think I'll try to do more of those. So just two more planks and uh, we're done. Alright, no more planks. I may be opening my um, guild islands to players. The players who join my Discord channel, of course, it's going to be um, it's going to be exclusive, and that's the only way to um, gain access to the islands. I'm not opening it to compete with Crafters Work Hard. If you want to save more, if you want to save a lot on silver, actually, while refining, cooking, and everything in between. Make sure to join Crafters Work Hard. Their uh, invite link is always in the description below. Uh, I don't want to compete against them, meaning I don't want you to choose my islands over their city plots. Uh, I always will recommend their city plots over my guild islands, but especially for especially for the coming days, I believe the crafting capacity after the update comes. The crafting capacity will just be atrocious. It will be. It won't be fun. It won't be fun looking for, um, plots in the city to craft or find to take advantage of your um, take advantage of the daily production book. It won't be fun, especially in the first few days when everyone's trying to figure it out. It will just be um, really chaotic. I don't want you guys to um, fight for... Fight for crafting capacity. too late bro I always stream for like an hour at least an hour this is what you want to see this is what I want to see like 50 plus notifications 50 plus notifications when I wake up because that means that means I sold a lot in Carillion Oh, your mic is low today. Oh, that's right. I am so sorry. Yeah, I remember. My PC is not really like working to its max potential right now, too, um, because there it's overcrowded and I can only pull seventy four. I usually pull one hundred forty four. FPS, but hopefully this uh, this is a lot better. I think it's too loud though. Thank you for um, letting me know. Thank you for letting me know. So hopefully this is better. We don't have to look for our mammoth today. I know it's in Martlock. <clears throat> all good, all good. What's that, Richard? Ooh. Wait, Sinato. Very familiar. Jose Richard. I know IGN mo pre. very familiar YouTube name. Uh, is a tier three cloth? Wait, is the tier three for sale? What do you mean for sale? Inferno. Is that tier 3 cloth for sale? Is that tier 3 cloth for sale, by the way? I mean, are you asking if I'm selling the tier 3 cloth? 
PM ako dati. Ah. Jose Richard. Ikaw ba yung Ikaw ba yung naka 8.3 dati na nakasama namin sa Yellow Zone? May naalala ko eh. Uh, I remember a specific player who asked us for help. Um, like a tier 5 legendary boss. Is that Was that you? <clears throat> Do you want to sell the tier 3 cloth? I mean, yeah. I am going to sell it uh, in Kerleon. Anything less that I won't accept it. There's a lot of people. Uh, there's a lot of people. Um, there's relying on me to uh, give them silver. My investors. Akasha. Oh, that's you. Ikaw ngayon. See? I remember. I remember things. That's you. I remember things. How's life, man? If you're looking for a guild, like join Mascara, bro. Oh, Silo Magic. Kasama Silo Magic is Ernest. Hey, join Mascara, bro. We will welcome you with open arms. Dude, it's so windy outside. So tempting to go. It's so tempting to go outside. Magic is uh, magic has joined us recently. I haven't seen Crispy Pata though. I haven't seen Crispy Pata in a while though. So join us, um, Jose Richard. Um, what? what Okay, we were calling you something else. We called you something else, not Jose Richard. Joe, sir. Joe, sir. I remember we called you Joe, sir. Joe, sir. Uh, but yeah, um, Inferno, I am selling it in um, in Kerleon. It's refining your first silver income, and if it's if it is, how you start refining without a mammoth? Ooh, very interesting question. Very interesting question. I asked. I answered this a uh, couple of days back, but the actually the very first money making that I did outside of dungeons was rough rough stones. And let me explain. Listen up carefully, guys. I know I explained this yesterday, but listen up or the other day. Rough stones is the very first thing that I actually sold. So in this scenario, I would actually like buy, right? I would actually buy. Um, I would buy order and then sell order right away. Buy order here and sell order here. Obviously, I, if someone does it, if a couple of players does it, it will just break down completely. But I used uh, rough stones to uh, actually make more money. So I'll actually buy order, like 999, right? Buy order, one silver higher than this and once I get it I sell it for one silver less obviously this won't work I did it in Bridgewatch and um, Limhurst so the very first thing that I did if you guys are listening up here there's obviously better ways now but what I did back then was um, buy blocks blocks in Bridgewatch and sell them to Limhurst that's what I did blocks here blocks in Bridgewatch Salimon Limhurst. Then I believe I bought um, rough logs in Limhurst, sold them in Martlock. And I did it all using a tier 5 ox. Did it all with a tier 5 ox. And I believe I started with 200k. And after a while, this calculator was born. This calculator was born. But it first started with. Um, rough logs and rough stones very interesting how I uh, how I got here how much silver do I have now just 188 million I don't have a lot of liquid silver 
don't have a lot of um, liquidated silver. What I do have are a bunch of resources. Let's actually look at how much resource that I have. I have right now. So this is twenty one mil. This is just one bank. Um, let's look at another bank because I think it is very important. Very important to know, <clears throat> like the overall value. I have thirty million. Oh, only thirty mil. Ooh, interesting. I only have thirty mil now. 30 mil over here, so that's 50 mil right away, just one island. Obviously, we're going around the islands to see. <clears throat> Van Varon, hello. How much silver you made till now after starting the challenge? Very interesting question, let's see. Let's see how much I have sold. I've refined a lot, but how much I've sold is uh, 413 million. 413 million it's not going to be uh, I will not be able to complete the challenge successfully but I've learned a lot I've learned to um, not not trust specific groups and um, to prioritize other things because the first 14 days of this of this um, project it was a uh, it was a mess it was really a mess um, the transport group that I uh, contacted transported 10% of what they promised they transported like every three days every four days which is not going to fly but with the, the two groups that I have right now I think it's going to be down to one now um, the one group that I have right now is very consistent <clears throat> Whenever I send them the priority list, they usually, you know, try to keep up because it's a pretty big, pretty big list, but they try to keep up as always. And the one thing that you need to do, because this is very doable, this is very repeatable. You can, you can do this. Obviously you need a mammoth, you need a group, right? But if you have a group of players that you trust that you can, they can uh, transport to Carolina back and forth, if you have just two players with a mammoth transporting around the royal cities as long as they are consistent you can easily make easily uh, make um i don't know 600 700 mil per per month obviously that is going to be shared but this is going to be a problem bro This is going to be a problem. Alright, I may need to do some gymnastics over here. Okay. Yeah, I may need to do some gymnastics. Oh, it's gonna be tough. Oh, it's gonna be tough. Actually, it's going to be tough. Alright, yep, do it though. <clears throat> I may stop buying bars for now. Bisa lang sa med school, sa no magic. Baba yung nang 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 <clears throat> As a magic, I lang, I think uh, a couple of days back. Why is tier four so tier four stones so expensive? I don't know. Tier four, tier three stones are actually more expensive than tier four. Okay. okay. 
I will need to um, get all of these first. We need to. We need to. Ah, it's gonna be a pain in the butt, but. Pain in the butt, but we need to do it. We have to do it. We have to do it. Lars, hello. Phoenix, hello. What's up? What's up? What's up? Mr. Sholo, hopefully I answered your question. And if you guys have any more questions, like let me know. Definitely let me know. Um Okay, I'm selling my tier 4 blocks. That's good, that's good. No one has access to this. Uh, how fast to get buy items in inventory in mobile? If it takes 200, it takes one minute. Any way to sell setting it to do fast? Uh, like getting the items from the marketplace? There isn't actually anything that you can do about that. If you're talking about like the take all, um, take all button in the marketplace after you get your buy orders, there isn't really a faster way of getting those items except for moving to another place with a better ping because it's ping based, unfortunately. That's one of the advantages of having, you know, good ping, and obviously, you know, that ping is um, location-based. I don't know if you can actually, like, they say use exit lag, but I don't think it will give you a significant, significant change. Can I start crafting with a startup capital of 200k, 100k? Yeah, absolutely. You can absolutely do that. The thing is, and I hope you guys are not part of this, uh, the group that I, I keep on seeing more frequently um, in Albion Online. Those players who are actually discouraged because they don't have a mana, right? Um, I remember reading one of the discord chats saying you know if you don't have a mammoth don't bother doing refining because it's not going to be for you the money is going to be slow if you and uh, another comment says if you don't have high specs don't even bother crafting but you have to start somewhere but you have to start somewhere and another comment said don't bother doing HCEs if you don't have 8.3 masterpiece items. It's like, you have to start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. And um, hopefully, you guys get inspired to know that I started with tier 5 ox and 200k doing limited bridge watch to Limhurst transports. And then I expanded from Limhurst to Marklock, Marklock to bridge watch. It's a small progression, small changes. But I started really small, tier 5 box in a two, in 200k, which is nothing these days, basically nothing. So just start, man, just start. And um, eventually, eventually, if you do it long enough, you'll probably um, be where I'm, where I'm at right now. Yeah, um, Garrere, this is what I uh, suggest for you, buddy. We have a gear crafting calculator at BurnstoneTV.com. At BurnstoneTV.com, use these calculators to your advantage. I made it so that um, you now have the opportunity to um, declare or say if it's a buy order, so buy order or not, because that definitely will have an effect. Or if it's uh, you're going to um, sell order or not right i also made uh, the necessary changes obviously to uh, 
to the profit calculator it's more accurate now and if you want to say thank you clicking an ad or two will definitely help the channel out I may need to stop buying bars for now. I need to do some calculations though. Definitely need to do some calculations. Uh, how much you make per month for one month of premium focus refining? Focus refining? Uh, I don't do focus refining at all. I do zero focus refining. I do focus crafting though. Uh, for food and gears. Food and gears. That's what I do. Food and gears. And um, I think my calculation got me up to 15 million. I believe this is a tier 5 cloth sandals crafting. I think can get me up to uh, 15 million. 15 million silver profit all right that's already profit i know it's not the best out there i know someone will tell you oh, i can make 90 million 90 million uh, silver profits with one account because i do this this and this but for me um buying because i have 100 specs in cloth shoes buying tier 5 cloth buy order in limhurst um, and then whenever this is down, right? Whenever this is down, this like this is a 600-400. I craft in uh, Bridgewatch cloth shoes and then I sell it to the black market in Carillion. That will net me, when I calculated, around 13 million. Uh, 30 to 15 million. But it's definitely higher now. Because there is low, low usage fee in, uh, in Bridge Watch for cloth shoes. Is gathering and crafting worth it? Gathering and crafting. Mm, I would say if you're gathering, I would rather have you sell your gathered uh, resources rather than transforming them into refined resources and then crafting them. Because you will be limited uh, by your focus points. High tier um, crafting and high tier refining. Most of the players uh, that are doing it are doing it with focus and a lot of alt accounts. Um, and for you to actually just for you as a one person, as one person to gather, focus your fight, focus craft, it's not really worth it, at least in my opinion. So if you are going to gather, it is best to just sell your gathered resources, your gathered raw resources, and um, make profit that way. If you are going to craft, if you want to craft, buy the refined resources if it's high tier, and just use focus. And sell to the black market if you're crafting non-artifact items. What else, what else, what else? Yeah, I'm not going to make it to 1 billion, I think. Unless my transporters actually, you know, show up in a big way. I'm, I'm basically limited by the demand in Garleon. But I am going to probably get close to, um, after all of it, I'll give it like 7 days runoff. Because as you can see right here, as you can see right here, we have 42 million in this bag. I didn't actually check how much I had in uh, Thetford, but the last time I checked, I think I had over like 350 million of uh, raw and refined resources all around the city. Actually, no, it's more close to like 400 million because we have 350 around the royal city and around 50 more million in Carillion already 
So yeah, the bottleneck bottleneck is definitely the transport to Carleon, which is you know understandable really because it's very difficult, it's very challenging, and it's uh, very dangerous to do it. But yeah, I'll give it seven days to run off probably. Um, one month of refining, one month of okay, so one month of refining and transporting across um, the royal zones, royal cities, except Caerleon. Doing it for like two, three hours per day can definitely give you a lot of uh, refined resources. It, it would be more than enough to make one billion silver in a month. But you, your um, bottleneck is definitely the transport from royal cities to Caerleon. And demand, of course. Um, what work? What would be a better use of my focus? Crafting, refining, in your opinion? Crafting. Crafting is always better than refining, at least for, in my opinion. <clears throat> because you have the black market. Especially for non-artifact items, you have the black market. And um, the black market buys crafted items for more silver and it cra it buys it at a faster rate much faster than you know in any other cities so it focus craft actually even if you're like super lazy really like you can even like directly buy directly buy from Carolion Marketplace, the refined resources, and uh, use focus, and you can make like 50% with books. I think that's one of the, I think I made 55% with directly buying from Carolion Market, the tier 5 cloth. I used focus, I uh, actually refined them or crafted them in Carolion with focus and I made 55% which is actually a lot 55% for literally no transports it's really good I just need uh, I'm just new to refining and I already got 7 mil should I stick with refining tier 3 hide or start refining tier 3 leather um, start mixing and mat matching um, what I mean by that is, you said right now you're focusing on tier 3 leather, right? There's a lot more out here, man. Like tier 3 leather is good. Tier 4 leather is a little bit lower in terms of percentage profit. But do note that this percentage right here, it's 60% compared to 76, right? But you will get more silver if you are going to refine tier 4. Plus, What's uh, good about that is you're both selling tier 3 and tier 4. So that means you're uh, tapping into two different markets now, tier 3 and tier 4. So your um, crafting will be more or refining will be more broad, more diverse. And that's what I'm trying to do. That's why I'm <clears throat> selling everything in Caerleon because I want to cover all of the players not just one i want to go um, supply resources to all of the players i think we'll make a stop in bridge watch and probably don't actually know what they're fine today Faction transport tips? Uh, I don't like it. I really don't. Any, um, I really don't like faction transports, especially with with the nerf. Like, um, obviously when you're transporting, still, if you die in the hands of um, another faction, you'll lose the hearts. <clears throat> I just don't like that. 
If you're traveling through the yellow zones, I would rather have you refine rather than uh, doing faction transports. Can you do zero to craft in a new character? Like a video series? You can probably do it. I have an idea. I have an idea on how to do it. Execution wise, I'm not really comfortable. I'm not really confident. The format of it, I'm not really sure if I have what it takes to actually make it interesting video wise. Like the concept, in my mind, is very interesting. Um, this is going to be very helpful to a lot of players. But the, the time that I need to actually do it, record the video, be strategic with the video, and uh, you know, overall make it pretty, not really confident in doing that. I can tell you what to do though. Like open world mobs, boys. Uh, I tried it yesterday. Open world mobs, tier four flat gears. Tier four flat gears. I used the Vedon, Guardian Helmet, Mercenary Jacket, Soldier Boots, Tier 4 Normal Cape, a Tier 4 Bag, and a Tier 3 Horse. I believe it cost me around 80,000 silver. Cost me around 80,000 silver. And I netted around 400k in 30 minutes. 400k in 30 minutes. Uh, just killing open world mobs. Surprisingly, they are dropping, like the open world mobs are dropping a lot of tier 4 books. Tier 4 books is, are very expensive, like 22k pop. So you you um, get a, 4 tier 4 books, which I got in like within the first 10 minutes, which is really surprising. Your gear has already been covered. So if you are struggling with silver, go do open world mobs in the black zone. Go in your cheap gear, the cheapest gear, like tier 4 gears, you're good. Use the Avalonian roads to uh, travel to you know, a remote, a remote um, black zone. The more remote it is, the better. Uh, if you see those uh, red glows. Go kill them. Even like the normal mobs at the... Um, I believe I was in a tier 8 zone. There, there were no... Like literally no other players out there doing the mobs. So just kill open world mobs in the black zone. Very cheap gear. So cheap in fact that... Probably if you get lucky within the first 10 minutes... You'll probably cover the entire cost of your gear. And then some, um, yeah, it's actually really good. What does this Burnstone TV bot do, by the way? Uh, nothing. <laughs> it's just, it's just there for your entertainment. Uh, when it comes to refining, you only do low tier refining. Yes, I only do tier three and tier four refining. Because that is where you can make a lot of silver without focus. Tier 5, it's meh. Tier 5 is meh. Without focus. But when it comes to like tier 6, um, everyone's using focus to uh, sell tier 6. And I'm not really into that. I would rather craft. I would rather use my focus in crafting. Okay, another problem here. I'm having a lot of problems with my uh, storage right now. Oh no. Really? A lot of issues with my um with my space here. We're already covered mark lock, I believe. Alright, let's I wanna do Limhurst. I want to do Limhurst, but I think Limhurst needs to wait. 
we're here anyways. Lemmerst needs to wait. Did it right? I don't think I did it right. Alright, Limmers needs to wait. Wait. Alright. We're going to do a little refining here. Uh, ask your questions, by the way, guys. Ask your questions. Uh, they'll be. Uh, I'll be more than happy to answer all of them. Like ask like very specific questions too. Let's see if I have. Let's see if I have um, associates here. One of the features that I want, I would like to see in Albion Online is um, this having a distinction of where you actually have access to associate associate uh, rates, like this one. Look at that. What if I um? What if I click, and every plot that I have an associate rate on, let's say it has a yellow glow or I don't know, a different border. That would be pretty amazing, actually. So that I don't have to actually go from one plot to another to see, you know, where I have an associate, or even just change the color of the usage fee. For users and associates if you have associate rates it will be just a different color that'd be great that would actually be awesome all right let's do blocks for now so that i can answer your questions <clears throat> hey thank you so much kana i appreciate it but i appreciate it i'll be coming up with more money making videos i'm excited for the next video though the next video, I'm going to talk about um, the daily bonus refining. Right, I'll, let's just talk about it right now, so you guys have the early scoop. Because you are um, in the live stream, let's talk about the daily production bonus. This is going to be a video on Friday, but since you're already here, let's just talk about it. All right, so the daily production bonus is going to be an update. Um, added to the update into the fray I believe on June 8th and the daily production bonus basically will give more obviously production bonus uh, to specific categories in the game well, now what does that daily production bonus do? it will increase the resource return rate for specific categories in the game uh, the last time that we, ta uh, we used is um, the arcane staff so Arcane Staff will have a bonus in every single zone in Albion. So that covers the cities, that covers islands, guild islands, personal islands, black zone hideouts, um, rests. I, th I believe the Arthur's Rest, blah, blah, blah. I'm not really sure about hideouts in the Avalonian Rest. That's something that I don't... Um, don't know just yet but everywhere else it's good all right what does that mean what does that mean for you if um, the resource return rate for blocks for example increased um, everywhere what does that mean for you as a gatherer if uh, there's a resource um, refining bonus that means that means um, the prices of raw resources will go up. It will definitely go up. Let's say the resource refining or the production bonus fall fell on blocks. That's what I'm looking at right now. This won't be 36.7 anymore. It will increase to whatever it is. All right. And that means a lot of players will want to buy raw resources. All right, raw resources and refined resources as well if they are refining higher tiers so those people who are like me who are crafting low tier 
we will benefit as well because that will that price will spike up because all of the players who are who are, who wants to find higher tier they will want to buy directly from the marketplace and it will just cause a price spike a price spike that hopefully you guys can take advantage of because you have already refined maybe yesterday or the day before so that will increase in price as well it will just create this chaotic price spikes ebbs and flows uh in the marketplace for that specific <clears throat> um resource now what you need to be careful of what you really need to be careful of or before you move on to that make sure to use these calculators because uh, these calculators actually allows you to change the resource to turn it to whatever basically whatever doesn't mean it doesn't really matter if let's say food increased uh, 10 percent and in resource return rate, maybe that's 4.7 or 4.2. Just go 15 plus 4.2, 19.5. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. You can add any resource return rate here. The main X factor, I would say, are the usage fees. The usage fees, they are going to go up. There is there is no i don't see a scenario or it's a low chance of happening wherein they are the plot owners will all compete against each other and try to lower their price it may happen but i just i don't i don't see it happening because one of the limiting factors that is going to happen is the crafting capacity if a lot of players are using all of the plots let's say like uh, the stonemason when the block ha the blocks have higher production bonus there's these crafting capacities as you see on the top left right here or over my cursor it is going to drop significantly a lot of players will try to refine the same and use the same plots over and over and over again to take advantage of the price spikes and the price drops and it will drop quite significantly probably even in the, like the first six hours if everyone takes advantage of it first six hours all of the crafting capacity will go down unless sbi actually changes how the crafting capacity works it will um it will go down quite significantly and one of the things that i am warning people about is the fear of missing out the fear of missing out um, is going to be really uh, difficult to it's, it's going to be easy to fall for uh, when everyone's a lot everyone's just crafting specific items right and uh, you want to take advantage of it as well but you're sort of late maybe you're too late <clears throat> There's only like a couple of hours left and you still want to refine, you still want to craft. If you are going to do that, if you are going to craft, refine, blah, 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 in the last two hours, you probably want to sell whatever you craft or refine, I don't know, two days, two, three days from now, because the demand will go back to normal. If you already have the resources, go for it. But if you are just going to buy at a higher price because you are, you know, you <clears throat> you want to take advantage of it, it's just, it's not worth it. Like all of these thoughts will be more organized in that video, but that's the gist of it. The daily production bonus is definitely going to be, um, make Albion very chaotic. And this is what I've been sending to my um, Discord channel members, by the way. Let me zoom in. I've been selling the, I've been sending these screenshots, these specific screenshots right here, to so actually give you a hint if you're a part of my Discord channel. I sold one million. Uh, this is, I believe, tier four. Yep, tier four point one. So yeah. Tier 4.1, I sold 344 for 1 million. 
So yeah. I've been sending these to my Discord channel members. And uh, it's sort of giving you a giving you guys a hint. Giving you guys a hint that hey, I may not do this video, I may not upload this video, but since you're part of this Discord channel, you already know what's up. You already know what's up, and yeah, if you have any questions, I answer them right away. It's easier, I don't have to actually create a video. But you already get that um, money making method right away. So if you're not already part of the Discord channel, join now. It'd be pretty fun there. Not a lot of activities right now, but hopefully when you guys join, I'll have more things to talk about. And I'll be answering more of your questions there. I still have a lot of tier 4 blocks. Not really a lot, a lot, but considerably more than I can uh, I can sell and carry on. So let's so focus on tier 3. I may do all of these tier 4 afterwards because let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I still have a lot. I still need more tier 3s than tier 4. Tier fours. Ask your questions now. Let me know. I know I'm really late in the in the chat. I'm pretty sure I'm like at least ten minutes late. But I'll answer all of your questions. That's what we do. Is uh, sometimes you know be patient. I'll get to your questions. And I'll answer. Um, I'll answer them right away. As soon as I read them. All right. One question is, oh no, one question is, why did you add that funny looking eyes to your mammoth in the thumbnail? I just find it, I just found it funny. I just found it really funny. So I added it. I'm playing around with my thumbnails right now. I was doing black uh, market selling. I was transporting one mil worth of rope to carry on. I got slapped hard by gankers. Dude, big rip. Um, first of all, did you have any scouts with you? Because you all, always need a scout. You always need a scout or a, a group of uh, probably guildmates to um, help you transport. Uh, I don't really recommend doing it solo. I may actually just create a solo um, transport to carry on thing, but it's going to be a last resort. It's going to be your last resort. Um, don't transport solo to carry on. Always have someone with you, at least a person to scout for you. And if you see a lot of gankers, you know, don't don't be afraid to actually um, delay your transport. You know, the black market is always going to wait for you. So don't be afraid to just delay your transport. It's a lot of gankers today. Yeah, there's been um, an uptick when it comes to the uh, gankers recently. You lost two bears. Dude, if you are going to use bears, oxes, yeah, that's basically it. Bears and oxes transporting to Carleon, have at least like seven players who are trying to defend you. Because if, once you get dismounted on an ox or a bear, it's you're pretty much done. You can't really move. I mean, obviously, if you're carrying one hundred percent while uh, have while on a boar and an ox or bear and an ox, it's pretty much dead. So please don't uh, transport solo there. Always have a scout with you. Always prioritize safety over profit. What do we get with stones? Uh, check the description below, Jovans. Uh, it's just an, a currency. It's just a um, YouTube currency, really. You can use it for um, gambling, a lot of um, little activities while you're in the chat. Well, probably, well, I'm explaining a couple of things while you're waiting for your answer or your question to be answered. Probably, you know play a couple of mini games there when you make buy order seller do you wait where's the question 
Okay. Amarek asks, when you make buy or sell order, do you make it plus one, minus one silver? Or do you aim for some calculated profit price? Very good question. Very, very good question, Amarek. I already answered this multiple times, but I'll be more than willing to uh, answer it again. I usually place my sell orders one silver less than um, one silver less than the resistance. I call it resistance. But to explain it in a more organized way, Amorek, go to BirdstoneTV.com, click on Money Making Guides over here. BirdstoneTV.com, Money Making Guides, and watch the fourth video. This fourth video right here. This is where I explained in a more organized way how I place buy orders and sell orders and what to actually look for when uh, placing sell orders and buy orders. Once again, BirdsoTV.com. Uh, this is the ultimate money making guide. This is the fourth video of Scroll Down. And yeah, this is where I explained that specific concept. So hopefully, uh, you do that. Hoyt says, how do I maximize a player island? What's the best thing to raise, form, or grow? Good question. Another good question. You guys are on fire right now. Okay, how do you maximize your islands? I would say, if you're just focused on maximizing your island. For me, the easiest way to do it is raising animals. And the animals that I'm talking about are like chicken, goat, goose, right? Pigs, cows. Uh, my personal favorite are cows, raising cows. Using focus on five out of the nine calves that is that are available, all right? That usually gives you enough to actually cover the entire entire plot meaning you'll get the calves back usually like nine out of ten times you'll get uh, all the required calves that you need to raise another batch and i would use focus butchering on those specific animals or just directly sell them it's it's your choice but i personally like raising cows or pigs because of that default um, offspring yield that's very high around 90 percent that's very high uh, it's very easy to sell in the market as well the raw pork and raw beef so it's very solid uh, i would say for other plots you would want to do laborers it depends on what you are uh, focusing on when it comes to laborers, maybe you're just doing solo dungeons or HCEs. So you want the mercenary, mercenary, um, mercenary laborers. Not really, doesn't really have a lot of uh, silver, silver benefit to it. But you know, it it can be a good sort of passive income. Um, but yeah, if you're if you're a crafter. You know, labor is definitely is the way to go. Depends again on what you are crafting specifically. Depends on you. But yeah, I would do labors and raising animals. Hopefully that is... Um, hopefully that answered your question. <laughs> Video leak. Any tips for new crafting? Craft non-artifact armor sets. That's what I uh, recommend. Craft non-artifact armor sets and make sure that you are crafting in the right, right city. Right. Okay. Make sure that you are crafting in the right cities to take advantage of those um, production bonuses. And make sure to use birdstonetv.com uh, calculator before you actually craft. Before you actually craft, use this. Let's 
use a virtual TV um, dot com gear crafting calculator to know if your specific that specific item that you're going to craft is going to yield you uh, profits. Very important, actually. It's very important. And it's a very powerful tool that is free for everyone. Obviously, if you want to support birdsonetv.com, yeah, you know, just click a couple of ads here and there. I think we're done with tier three. Yeah, we're almost done. All right, let's finish tier three. Four. Yeah, let's finish tier three. And I think. And I think I need to go to Limhurst. If uh, should I buy and use an elite winter bear masterpiece until a mammoth, or do you have any mammoth recommendations? Good question, Kana. Uh, you may want to um, watch the newest video that I uploaded. It's linked in the description below. Uh, best transport mounts, but. Yeah, Elite Winter Bear. Use Elite Winter Bear because that is the closest that you can get to a mammoth. The Elite Winter Bear. Yeah, if you want to watch. Actually, there's a silver giveaway. If you go to birdsotv.com, there's a silver giveaway tab. Link here. This is the video that I uh, just recently uploaded. Make sure to watch that. Uh, and if you scroll down. You can actually see two giveaways. Just scroll down over there, and um, yeah, silver giveaway, boys. Alrighty, go do it, Lars. Go do it. Calm cunt. Hello, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the tunes as well. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the tunes. Alright, any more questions? You guys have any more questions? I'm pretty sure those are not all of your questions. Ask them right now. And the scavenger hunt still ongoing. Um, make sure to join that. Just explore, man. Explore birdstonetv.com. Click on, you know, click on these, right? Click on these, and uh, make sure you guys are clicking some ads as well. Most visited page on my site is obviously the resource, uh, the calculator. Totally understandable, right? Least use calculators, the potion calculator. <laughs> By certifying person. Hmm. All right. Best tier for fighting and crafting. I would say. Crafting, I believe the best is tier 5 if you're selling it to the black market. Tier 5 is just, there are a lot of items that you can craft. Tier 5 that is just super profitable. Um, for refining, if you're not going to use focus, tier 3 or tier 4. If you are going to use focus, focus on crafting rather than refining. Like tier five, man. Tier five gear crafting, and even in Carleon, there's a lot, a lot of um, non-artifact items out there that you can craft and sell to Carleon or to the black market. And uh, take advantage of it. This is the free Brunson TV calculator, gear crafting calculator. Take advantage of it. You don't even need to like go to if you're going to use focus. You don't even really need to transport materials from Carillion to uh, 
or from Royal City Sicarion. You can just directly buy from from the marketplace. Just make sure to use the calculator, though. Just make sure to use the calculator before you actually um, proceed with your crafting, because it will show you. You, you can actually compare like what to uh, what to craft. Do you want to craft maybe a one-handed weapon, two-handed weapon, bag, capes, armor sets? I discovered even offhand actually, even offhand is covered there. Alright, I'm thinking about if I actually want to craft tier 4. I feel like I should. Do you think buying mammoth calves and growing them and selling mammoths be profitable? Yes, if you have a lot of money. Yes. Uh, I think snow. Something snow. Snow is an IGN or a YouTube name. Asked about like if I have one billion silver, what would you recommend? And I really thought about it, and I would actually recommend buying a lot of mammoth calves. Obviously, there's not a lot of supply there, but buy as much as you can. It's probably going to be like 150, 160 million a pop. Um, and let's just raise them. Raise them. If you get a calf back, that's profit right there, right away. If you get a calf back, that's uh, basically a gamble, but at least you'll have a lot of mammoths. What I recommend doing with a lot of with 1 billion silver. Would I do it if I have 1 billion? Like, just light playing around? Probably would. Honestly, I probably would. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Ah, oh, dip. I need to go back. I need to go back to Carleon. But should I buy the masterpiece or excellent winter bear? Because I checked the market, it's hard to sell. Uh, just go with excellent, man. Doesn't really need to be a masterpiece. Doesn't really need to be a masterpiece. Just go with an excellent. Excellent should serve you. It should be more than enough for whatever it is that you are going to do. Excellent is more than enough. <clears throat> For mammoth, like good is even good enough. Have you already earned six, the sixty percent of the billionaires' uh, goal this month? Not yet. I'm at like forty three percent. Forty three percent sold, by the way. In terms of um, crafted, I probably have crafted over one billion silver worth. The only thing that is holding us back is the transport to carry on, which is understandable. It's very dangos. Oh no. Really? What? No. What? What? I uh, may, may need to craft more. Dang it! Are they actually? These are the last one. Won't even let me. Oh! It won't actually even let me. No. Okay. Alright, let's go to Carolion first. What? Alright, this is getting ridiculous. What in the actual crud? Get 
getting a little ridiculous when it comes to space. <clears throat> Alright, let's go back to Carolina and just sell a couple of stuff and we'll go back to refining. And answering your questions, of course. What is your opinion about laborers? Laborers, I'm not a big fan. Not a huge fan of laborers. Not really a huge fan of laborers. I would actually rather sell um, the journals that I, uh, I that I would get from crafting. I'll just rather sell them um, rather than actually using it. I think the the money's faster that way, at least for me, because you're very limited with how much you can actually. Uh, do with laborers I mean you know it's a gamble you if you get like a 4.3 6.3 you're golden right you're you're golden if you hit that 0.3 you're golden I don't know I always look at sure silver right away I always look for a money making method that doesn't really rely on chance. I don't really like those uh, methods. I mean, obviously, laborers are still profitable, but it's just not for me. You can still do it though. It's just that's just uh, an opinion of one person. That's just my opinion. You don't have to stick with what I say. It's just me. I just actually want to sell. Oh, to the person. Alright, let's answer. If, listen up, boys. Class is in session. Listen up, listen up. Alright. So, um, what if the one of the comments asked earlier? What? How do I sell? How do I sell my uh, my resources? Do I have a specific target price or do I just sell one less uh, than one silver less than the current price? And the the answer really is if look for the resistance. Look for the resistance. And the resistance I mean by resistance is that look for the price. And let me zoom in. Look at the price where there is a lot of amounts. Right? Two two three you have at least two and a half stacks. Two to four, you have a lot of um, a lot of um, amount being sold. Two to seven is next. Two to nine is a lot more, right? I call these resistance. You want to look for the immediate resistance, and the immediate resistance right here is two to three. Two to three is the immediate resistance, so I'll sell what silver less than the, res the resistance. But I'm also making sure that I am within around maybe less than 10 silver than the average. So that I can be assured that, okay, even if I sell at uh, 2 to 2, I'm within 10 silver of the average price for 24 hours. I will be able to uh, sell these relatively quickly. Right? Because that's what you want to do. You want to sell it, you know, as fast as you can with some decent profit and uh, make sure that you can you know rotate the money right away look at my forehead dude why is it so freaking shiny all right that's the concept make sure that uh you will sell it immediately or you know fast turn around with decent profits if there's a spike though if there's a spike if there's a spike in demand or in, uh, yeah, in demand, make sure to look at the past seven days. Stay within 10 of this as well. Stay within 10 or 15 silver of this as well. So your tip of the day. Made my early game so much fun. J Flamer, I appreciate that, buddy. I really do. It, it means a lot to me when you, uh, you guys say that. Right? Oh, Ken. 
Uh, the price difference between an excellent and masterpiece is too much. That is true. We'll stick with the excellent. All right, Kana. Hopefully you guys um, are enjoying these money-making tips. Obviously, you can re-watch these streams. But, you know, I would suggest be present on the stream. It's a lot better. Victor! How are you doing, buddy? Um... Wait, where am I? I made a spreadsheet to refine again and make all of this and give you in like 30 minutes and give up. I made a spreadsheet to refine again and make all of this and give up in like 30 minutes. <laughs> Why did you give up so easily, bro? Alright, this is a very good example. This is a very good example. Let's look at this. <clears throat> okay, so what is... Quiz time, boys. What is the resistance here? What would you say is the resistance? I would say... 228. It has 999, 249, but 97 there. And not really next. 228 is a very soft resistance, I would say. Very soft resistance. But I would actually want to stay within 10 silver of this price, 218. Even at 7 days and uh, 24 hours, it's been averaging 218. So I would want to make, um, I would like to be within 10 silver of this. So it actually sell at 227. Makes 228 is a very soft resistance. I would sell at 227. Stay within that 10 silver price range. All right. But also taking advantage of that little bit of a price spike. But not really um, breaking any resistances. I know all of these like technical talk is probably making you... Um, making your ears bleed but trust me this is worth it all right let's try to see if uh, we have sold any we'll good with cloth i right, let's look at tier five uh see if we have blocks and planks we have blocks and planks see what i mean it's sold right away it was sold right away not even five minutes. Old people say shiny forehead implies good fortune. <laughs> or you just have a shiny forehead. <laughs> or maybe you just have an unoily forehead. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll accept that. I'll accept that as a fact. Um, Kida. Good fortune. Alright, we're looking at... Tier 5. Looking at tier 5, boys. Don't actually like carrying that much. Alright, perfect. Let's look at our inventory of tier 4 cloth, tier 3 cloth, leathers. Leathers good. Bars good. Block, tier 4. We need tier 4. Planks, planks are good. Alright. Good, 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 good. Your exams are finally over. How's your exams? How did it go? How you get this resource on Carleon? Um, Victor, I have a transport group. Um, some of the details I did um, include in the description below. So, this is a group project. Um, I've, um, I think, told you guys. Obviously, you can't be part. You can't be part of every stream, every minute, every second, right? But um, the summary is in the description. Basically, this is a group project. This is just not me, like carrying everything. It's a group project. We have three groups uh, in this project. We have well, myself. I do the buy orders, sell orders. I do refining. I do all of this like strategic 
part of this um, project. Another group called the Royal Transporters. They basically transport around Caerleon. The cities around Caerleon. So what this the that's their job, transporting refined resources to specific locations, transporting um, raw resources to specific locations. So that's their job. And I have another group for transporting artillery leather. I have another group for transporting um, to Caerleon. So at the end of this project, we all share 33% each. That's a, I think that's a very good way to do it. Can you do this solo? Eh, doubt it. <laughs> I won't do it solo if you're transporting to Caroleon. If you're transporting around the city, that's good. But if you're transporting to Caroleon and you're doing it solo, eh, I don't recommend it. Why don't you make the chat delay less, by the way? The chat delay is not actually the problem. It's just that I answer all of the questions, I read all of the comments, and sometimes reading the comment or answering a comment takes like five, seven minutes. And the next time I look at the chat, five to seven minutes later, I'll read probably another chat and answer it for another three minutes. So the chat delay is actually not um, that long. It's only 30 seconds. It's just that, you know, I just talk a lot. <laughs> I just talk a lot. All right, look at this. All right. Look at this. This is a very special case, by the way. Tier 3 leather. What is the resistance in this one? The resistance is 200, obviously. But look at the, what is next. 200, 258, 900... 1,000? 19 million? Obviously, that's a troll. I'll put it at 199. I wanted to put... I want to put it at 199. Because the next resistance release 200. I'll put it at 199. 15. Oh, there's 1.2. 1.2 million profit right there. Awesome. Okay. Not bad. Awesome. Awesome. Congratulations, bud. Congratulations. Uh, you have finished your exams. Time to celebrate. All right. I think we're done there. Let's do. Let's uh, make some space in Bridge Watch, and I think. We can make space in uh, Limhurst as well because I've just been running out of space lately. Do you sell refined resources in all cities or only some? Uh, I sell everything to Caroleon. Okay, so I have this calculator over here that I've been recommending for, you know, for the past month or so. Actually, I've been recommending this for years. But... If you use this, this sells around the city. And if uh, if this is accurate, obviously you have to watch the videos first. You have to watch the videos at Personal uh, Money Making Guides right here. PersonalTV.com Money Making Guides. Watch the fourth and fifth video. This talks about what I actually do in this method. How I buy, how I sell over here, and how to use the calculator. It will say that the, uh, you have to be a member to be to access the calculators. But it's all for free now. This is exactly the calculator that made me billions of silver. Um, but this only transports around Caroleon, like outside of Caroleon, I mean. And I've been recommending that to a lot of players, um, and especially new players. And I actually don't want to compete against you guys. I don't want to compete against you guys because I know. I can easily cover a market uh, pretty fast. So I don't want to compete against you guys, especially those who are new to the game. Uh, do that method, you know, and uh, 
I'll stay in Caerleon. It's actually very interesting. Like, I don't actually know how to make this better. Because even if I craft tier, I craft it to tier 4, I don't think it would make it any better. Uh, let's try. Let's at least try. Let us at least try. <clears throat> uh, in refining, you should transport all of my items first and go back and forth after refining. And first stack that I transport, I do fourth mark when I buy items, mark fourth when I sell. Okay, I didn't um, quite understand that question, Kana, but. Uh, when you transport items, when you transport resources, um, make sure that what you're transporting you can refine right away. So, have you know stack of tier two, tier three, tier four when you're refine when you're transporting, so that when you do reach to the city that you're going to refine, you can actually refine right away. All right, give me just um, two minutes, guys. I need to go to the washroom real quick. I'll be back in two minutes. Make sure to, um, you know, leave your questions and I'll answer them right away. Alright, here we go. Um, sometimes I see two mammoths transporting to Caroleon. Yeah, but you also see a lot of like bodyguards too, right? You see a lot. If you see a mammoth transporting solo, I really doubt he's transporting solo. But yeah, transporting through the red zone with a mammoth is very ballsy. I would never do it. Never. <laughs> Fun fact my mammoth haven't seen the red zone or the black zone and will never see the red zone or the black zone ever <clears throat> hey day 23 how much did you earn how much time did you invest and what did you start with uh and what did you start with good question flippy okay day 23 uh day 23 of refining actually um overall what I've sold so far, uh, excluding what I have already refined, this is just what I have sold so far in Carleon. I've profited 416 million so far. But as uh, you obviously didn't see earlier, but as uh, some of you saw in some of the banks, I probably have like 500 mil with the, cur with the uh, latest addition of the re raw resources. Probably have 400 to 500 mil all across all um, banks. And um, yeah, the bottleneck in this project really is the the transport to Caerleon, which obviously is very difficult to do. <clears throat> but also, you know, the demand. The demand in Caerleon fluctuates a lot. But, you know, I'm very confident. Wow, it became very dark, huh? What happened? I'm very confident that um, even if even at day 30 after I stop refining and just wait wait waited for my resources to be to be transported in Carillon, I'll probably make uh, one billion quite easily. 
I just need to refine a lot. So the, the project is basically refine a lot. Dude, this is so gloomy. Why is it so gloomy outside? Um, refine a lot. And then uh, just wait for my transporters to transport to Carleon and wait for my cell orders to be bought. You slept like a child after the exam. Let's go. Can you talk about the group project more? Maybe like how to attend. How to attend the group project. Uh, okay. So since this is a project that um, is very, it, it relies on trust. I'm, and I'm so sorry that I'm like so like dark right now because there's just no natural light coming in but this project relies heavily on trust trusting the people that are transporting your resources trusting the people that um, basically are handling all of these resources because if you don't trust them it, this won't work I'm working with three groups I'm working with the three groups. I like these three groups that I'm working currently right now. I trust them. I trust them a lot. Um, the Royal Transport groups, they have been so consistent. Uh, the transport group for Carleon, I had three groups. One group is just atrocious. I cut ties with them like a couple of weeks back. Um, the second group, has their inconsistency issues, but holy crud. Can you guys see? I can actually see. The, <laughs> the trees are just actually just going in the opposite direction. Um, the second group, they had some issues with um, consistency, but very good when it comes to a bulk transport. Wow, this is actually insane. Um, the third group, very consistent. Um, they have actually been very, very profitable. What is going on? 